We're going to continue on the Free Code Camp's new responsive web design, and this is Learn CSS Colors by building a set of colored markers. Um, so for step 11 now, it's time to add some color to the page. So remember that one way to add color to an element is to use the color keyword, um, like black, cyan, or yellow. As a reminder, here's how to target the class Free Code Camp. Um, so we just want to create a new CSS rule that targets the class marker. So we'll do dot marker, like so. Open up a pair of curly braces, and we want to give it a background dash color of red, like that. And let's check that code. There we go. So step 12. So we notice that the marker doesn't seem to have any color. And if you remember, the marker in the index.html is this div here. And if I go close the HTML file, and the reason for that is because the div element is empty, it doesn't have any height by default. So in your marker, add the CSS rule width, and we'll give it 200 pixels and a height of 25 pixels. And now this box, as you can see here, so this is the div, and then inside it's got the height um, of 25 pixels and the width of 200. And we are now saying the background color is red, which it is. So that's perfect. So step 13, your marker would look better if it was centered on the page. An easy way to do that is with the margin shorthand property. So if you remember before, we could do margin top, left, and obviously bottom and right as well. Um, but if we set the margin to auto, what that's going to do is, as you can see, it puts all of the top left or top right, bottom left, if we're looking um, sort of around it, um, set to auto. So it's basically filling out the space um, either side or all sides. Perfect. So number 14, now that you've got one marker centered with the color, it's time to add the other markers. So we want to just below that add another div. And actually, I'm just going to copy and paste these. Um, if you perhaps are new to HTML, I would perhaps recommend um, sort of typing this out and get that sort of memory or muscle reflex or muscle memory, sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, for now, we just want to give them a class of marker. So that should pass. Great. So step 15, while well, you have a separate marker div elements, they look like one big rectangle. So we need to add some space in between them. So you can see that 25 pixels kind of just then goes 25 pixels and 25 pixels. There's no space between them. Um, so with the margin shorthand property, you've got margin top and margin bottom. Um, and then margin left and margin right is the second value. So if we want to give the margin a top and bottom of 10 pixels, we could do 10 pixels. And then auto is still being applied left and right. Um, so that's what that shorthand is doing here. If we then gave it three values, um, I'd have to check what that applies to. And then obviously four values, it is top, right, bottom, left. Um, I can't quite remember for three values if it's top and bottom and then sort of left and right are the same. Um, yeah, I'd have to just double check that. But anyway, that can uh, be another day. So step 16, to give the markers different colors, we need to add a, a unique class to each one. Multiple classes can be added to an element by listing them with the class attribute and separating them with a space. So for example, animal and then space dog are all are both or two classes added to this element. So to the first one, we just want to add one here. So it's marker, they're all still marker, but it's one. And then I assume we're gonna go two and three as well. Um, but for now, we just want to actually remove the background color property. And you can see now all of them have lost their background color, but they are still on the page. We just can't see them. So step 18, create a new CSS rule that targets the class one, so dot one, and give that a background dash color of red. And what I'm expecting is just the top one to be red now, and the other two are still effectively invisible because they'll just be white. There's no color applied to them, no outline, nothing else. So, yep, we want to add two to the next one and three to the one below that, like so. So let's submit and go to the next challenge. And then finally, for this video, step 20, create a CSS rule that targets uh, the second one. And then we'll do background dash color green, like so. And then we want to create another class as well for three. So the third one and that background dash color 
will be blue, like so. And there we go, we've got our three colored markers now, each with their own unique colors. Perfect, cool, that's all passed. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.